Hey good fellas, I'm going to pick five fountain pens I would purchase right now in the store. So we're going to pick them together, but before we do so, I need an espresso. It's eight in the morning and I only have one espresso right now. Before I start the coffee, you have to please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to hit the like button because that helps me so much on the algorithm. The algorithm is gonna pick the video and it's gonna propose it to a lot of other people. Now let's do the coffee. exactly how it needs to be when you're in Sue with our store it's like being in Italy anyway I have several quantum pens I really like that, I, that I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm really going to purchase one not today but I'm going to take one and you're gonna see it in my Instagram stories in the next couple weeks uh, you know that I already have the design C from Otto Hot, which is one of my favorites designed by Mark Brown and I have the design 08 which is also designed by Mark Brown so one is sterling silver one is in solid brass with rotating finish now let's come over here and if I look over here, I see two pieces I would buy. And it's funny, I never go after the price or the most expensive one. I like very expensive pens, but I also like very down to earth and like pens that are not pretentious. So, wait, let me first drink this coffee. I need two cups in the morning, you need two cups in the morning. Okay, so first of all, let me take the gloves because I mean, when the customers are here, I don't give them gloves to touch the pens. But me, as the owner and the salesperson of the store, I'm, a, I'm obviously going to wear gloves so um, that the pens remain always as new. So I would say we start with something I see up here. And it's an incredible design from that brand from Bassano del Grappa called Monte Grappa. I mean, just look at the texture of the celluloid, the 925 sterling silver. And what I really like about this pen is obviously the oversize, like this kind of oversize that it has. Uh, it's not too thick, not too small. I like this um, eight angles of the pen. The celluloid, every time I look at it, for me a product, a pen, every time I look at it, it has to give me something new, you know, like a new perception of things. And this is the typical fountain pen. It doesn't matter how I turn it, if I go out, I am in, uh, when I put it like this or I put it like this, it all, it's always gonna look different. And that gives me emotion during my day, and that's what makes me appreciate a pen on a daily basis. This is definitely one I would buy. It's priced at 1,850 Swiss francs. 18 carat oversized nib, medium. It's also the kind of nib uh, I would go for. Maybe we're gonna ink it and, and try them out together. Uh, at least a few of them, not all of them. But this is one I want to try with you. You know what? We're going to put them here. I'm not going to decide for one. I'm just gonna pick five and one of them I'm going to purchase in the next weeks and you're gonna see it on Instagram. Then, I have received something new. Let me put this back. I have received something new from Japan and it's a brand that you probably know, it's Platinum. And this is the Century 3776. And I'm not 100% sure which color I would go for. I actually like the white one a lot. I mean, this is a fountain pen with a 14 karat gold nib prized at 190 Swiss francs. So that's the kind of unpretentious feeling I am telling you about. And what I really, really appreciate about pens that are not too expensive. So as I told you, I don't decide, oh no, I'm only gonna go for expensive. But for me, it always, it's always a matter of feeling. What do I like? What do I want? What does represent me in specific moments of my life? Maybe I would even decide to go for the black one or the green one. Since my wife loves green very much, I'm probably gonna go for green. And this is a B nib. And you know what? I want to show you the beautiful nib of this piece. I mean, I love the shape of this nib. I love the feet underneath and how thin it is. And that's what really amazes me about the Platinum 3776. 
So that's another one I would definitely go for. So you see, we are already in a range between 1,850 Swiss francs and 190 Swiss francs. So two different price points, but I think that's the cool thing about it. There's nothing cooler than having these pens one next to each other on the table or in my uh, pen box. Then I told you several times, I mean, there's several nice pieces here. And oh yeah, there's definitely one I, I would purchase from here. And that's, that's, that's one I'm really like. I'm probably gonna go for this one. The Sailor King of Pen. I mean, basically very, very easy pen. I mean, it doesn't have a piston fitting mechanism. It's a resin pen, precious resin, but it's just like the nib makes the whole difference on this pen. And there's a value in that. The one I would go for because it gives me the, the, more, the most emotion is probably the demonstrator one. And it comes as a B nib and a medium nib. Actually, this is the smaller one, sorry. Have a look at it. Have a look at it, how cool it is, how technical it looks. And the way it writes, this one, we're going to test it together. We're going to test this piece together to see how it writes. So we have already picked three pieces. So I have a Multigrappa, I have a Platinum and I have a Sailor. One Italian, two Japanese for now. Now, Another one that I'm, I'm going to buy it. I'm 100% sure too. Maybe it's going to be this one. Actually, I'm so, so confused. I don't know which one I will buy. And I'm going to buy one, one after the other. I mean, I really work in pens. I cannot buy like five pens at once. I really buy them every day. I mean, so <laughs> what's the point? Guys, Canon Dash Le Mans. I'm hooked on Canon Dash Le Mans and I still haven't taken one from me. And you know what's fun? I don't even have the exact model I would go for, but just to show you, and yes, that, that it is. That's the one I would go for. That's the Grand Bleu, and I'm going to take it out, even if it's a rollerball. And I just want to show you the shades of this blue. I mean, first of all, look at the beautiful waves on the pen itself. Then, Look at the beautiful lacquering that you can see and on how the color changes every time you turn it. So if you go this way, if you go this way, it's gonna be darker or a lighter color. And that's what's so fun about this pen. And so having this one as a fountain pen, and I'll take the fountain pen, which by the way is a great writer. Now this is a broad nib, too broad for me. I would go for a medium. Maybe on Carandash I could even go for a fine uh, nib, but that's exactly the one I could go for. And I mean, price-wise, we're talking here about what is 550, 600 Swiss francs, something like this. So totally legit for the kind of Swiss-made quality you get when purchasing a Caran d'Ache. So you have Swiss made quality, you have lacquering, you have the underneath decoration, and still you're about that 600 francs with an 18 karat gold nib. It's converter cartridge mechanism, but totally a pen I would go for. So I'm going to place this one here. We are already, already at four. Now, guys, fellas, Last piece I want to show you that I would definitely buy is the newest Mont Blanc and it's the Mont Blanc 80 Days Around the World. Now the 80 Days Around the World is a sequel from Le Petit Prince series that Mont Blanc has released the last three years and I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it for the story itself. I'm not gonna ink this one, but look at it. And you know what's fun? I would probably really, really go for the classic one. I want to give you the time to picture it and to see how it looks. Look, what I really appreciate about this pen is the fact that it's a classic. You know, Mondo has taken the Meisterstück and has basically, you know, did like a, a, a kind of facelift or just like 
a color combination that you don't see every day and that is going to hold value over time because it remains a classic but with this kind of blue and with these patterns but still it's such a classic i mean this could be a pen from the 30s and it would still be so actual so you've got this beautiful um waves engravings on the cap then you have the steamboat here on the side this is for the first 18 days of the 80 days around the world, it features a piston filling mechanism with an ink window, 18 karat gold nib with this beautiful engraving. Sorry, 14 karat gold nib, not 18 karat gold nib. Let me check. Yeah, 14 karat, 14 karat gold nib. And also what's interesting is the fact that you have metal elements on the pen, which in my own opinion, give that certain kind of, uh, you know, premium feeling to the pen. Even if you already have a Meisterstück, this is a must-have. And that's why I would totally buy this pen. I don't remember the price, but I think it's 760 Swiss francs. I think it's somewhere there. What we're gonna do now together is to test three of those. Because if I don't do so, then you're gonna tell me, yeah, you always show us pens. But well, you never try them out and we don't know if they actually ride well. So we're going to test together if they ride well. Three of them. The demonstrator, the platinum green one century, which is a kind of demonstrator too, and the Monte Grappa Extra Otto limited edition shine lines. We start with the century, with the platinum. And after I dip it, and I try them, Karen will have to clean all of this, of course. Now, and she's already insulting me from the back there, but that's how it works. I'm joking, it never works this way, unfortunately. That's why I'm using this channel to pull out all of my frustration about this topic. Okay, let's go. Now, as I told you before, it is a binib, and we're going to feel how it feels. As I told you, 190 francs. So what I can tell you about it while I'm writing is it's smooth, but it's a very stiff nib. So uh, you feel when you're writing. I once heard that platinum creates air nibs in order that they almost feel like writing with a pencil, which I think is a very interesting fact. So you feel it, you 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 actually feel it when you're when you're writing. Sometimes some nibs are so smooth you don't even feel them on paper. There's people who love that. I don't know if I'm that type of guy depends very much on the day but definitely a great rider for 190 francs if you're looking to start somewhere or to have something as i told you unpretentious i like this word unpretentious on your table then guys make sure to buy this platinum because it's totally worth it we're gonna go we went japanese now we go italian and we try the shiny lines 18 karat gold nib oversized nib never tried it So personally, I'm a big fan of Monte Rapa nibs. I like how they write, they're uh, juicy, and I always personally had very, very good um, experiences with them. You can see the number here. Now, obviously, you get more than just the writing feeling with such a pen. You get also the materialization, the sterling silver, the size, the weight, the feeling that this pen gives you. This is a luxury pen, limited. I think price-wise, it's legit. It's on the higher end, but you know, totally, totally cool. I just sold one, the Zebra one, two days ago, and the customer is very, very happy with it. 
well done Montegrappa on this one. Then third pen I would buy right now is this one. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go for, but the Sailor King of Pen is such an amazing rider. The cool thing about the Sailor King of Pen is it has a certain flexibility when you're riding. And now this is a B nib. So this is the typical pen that is very, very smooth. It's so smooth, I almost don't feel it on paper. So I have to push so that I start feeling it, which makes it even broader than it is. So I, as I was telling you, it has a certain flexibility. I would probably go for the uh, medium nib. This is a 21 karat gold nib, patented. Uh, Sailor has a patented 21 karat gold nib, which is a very high grade of gold. This is insane. As I told you, it's almost too smooth. So I don't feel it while I'm riding and it almost, almost glides too well. So I probably if I would go with a medium nib, I would have a bit more of resistance on paper while I'm riding, which would give me the right kind of feeling for my type of riding. So guys, you're gonna see which one I'm going to go for. Now I want to know from your side, which one would you pick? Which one would you guys go for from this five? Let's repeat them together before I finish this video. We have the Montegrappa Shiny Lines Limited Edition Extra Otto. Then we have the Platinum Century 3776. Then we have the Sailor King of Pen Demonstrator. Then we have the Caron Le Mans Grand Bleu, which is the rollerball, and that's why we couldn't try it. And then we have the Mont Blanc 80 Days Around the World, the special edition, which I think is an absolute must have. Guys, tell me which one would you go for. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget that together we are changing the game.